Well, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is the second run through of this bag, and we've made some changes, alterations, this, that, or the other. Of course, on the exterior, still have our go in the bathroom bag, maps, that type of stuff, this, that, or the other. Nothing really has changed here, uh, really, other than the fact that there's no fuel in here anymore, no esbit, because. If I'm just going to go backpacking and it's not going to be sustainable, then I can do something different, and I've done something different. Um, of course, anyone that, that's a member of REI realizes that their, their dividend has come in, and so I chose to use my dividend in different ways. Still have the gloves, mechanics. Of course, these are uh, slightly used, but that's just the way it works, man. Still got our sleep pad pillow, that type of crap, are a bull. Have an ever new bag, of course, uh, because it fits on the Sawyer Squeeze. Still have the shell from uh, Columbia because it breathes better. Still have the actual uh, deal here, which is a <coughs> mountain hardware. But what I want to talk to you about are basically some different things. I moved all my toiletries over to a mesh bag so that they have a, the ability to breathe. Um, and changed out basically my toothbrush to one of these Colgate ones that's a travel thing. And is it kind of gadgety? Yeah. But I think it's kind of cool too. I mean, it's just the way it is. Folds out. And it's very highly rated. I don't see how it could be if that wiggle bothers you, then maybe you have other issues. Um, seems to be pretty well built, well designed. Uh, the rubber probably is way overkill. Um, but if you buy these, buy the multi-pack. Uh, and also, the, it's got some ventilation here for your bristles to dry out, uh, which is why I went to the mesh bag. It's a 3 liter mesh bag from REI. And... Uh, also, uh, not trying to be hipster douchebag fag shit, but using the Dr. Bronner's, and if you understand the religious shit that's written on here, good luck with you. Uh, I have degrees in uh, religious studies. I have a minor in religious studies and, and don't understand what the fuck that shit means, but, you know, your shit, you, you may... You, you might figure it out, man! <laughs> like, why it wasn't there videos, man? Um, a couple things that I did not show in the previous video. Of course, I've got a uh, trash compactor bag, which I can line this entire bag with this if in case of rain or this, there, or the other, and basically waterproof it. It's an additional uh, way of taking care of things. I know it's got a, a it's got a rain thing. Yeah, on it, man. But you know, some stuff, man, that air trash compactor bag works. Uh, and of course, we've got some extra little uh, lock sacks. You can carry Ziploc bags. If you carry the Ziploc bags, make sure it's the double zip uh, Ziploc freezer bags. Don't use anything else. Uh, you know, we're right now evaluating whether the easy open double zip freezer bags are as good as the previous versions. Hell, I don't know. Uh, that, that's kind of still a work in progress. This is a combination first aid kit and everything else. It's, and it's basically a hybrid of the one that I have in my other pack. So we've got, of course, we have our uh, uh, feminine hygiene product devices, which also works for blood loss. Of course, we've got the mole skin, which we buy. We've got Telfa pads, and we've got Steri strips. Um, have one feature here that's that's not in the other one which is a mirror uh, just simply for looking at your at your face uh, when you're out on the trail in case something happens this there or the other put the sewing kit in there just because it's a little more protected along with the uh, thermal rest repair kit because we have two inflatable mattresses it would be uh, you'd be insane not to carry a repair kit um, and of course we have our uh, at their Seiki City J Pan, man. Uh, then their clippers, and then we've got the Benadryl cream. Uh, we've got some uh, 
that they're uh, what are the people them, them fucking meth heads make that shit up uh, 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 pseudo federin man you know whatever we got them band-aids and then we got some polysporin because you know whatever and then we got some out there duct tapeage man and got one of them there tick tweezers boy yeah and of course then we have the standard uh, pill capsule from this is a one ounce from Nalgene uh, with all of our things in it and then you know, cotton basically stamped in it so it doesn't make a whole lot of racket it's just a habit I've just kind of gotten into that and I always do one thing if you're ever in a, in a fire situation you need a fire starter and don't have one you could always pop uh, oh I've got Tums in the top of that Woo baby got some Tums in there separated by their cotton I forgot about that boy you can always pop one of the cotton uh, um, balls out of it and then put the polysporin on it uh, and then basically create a fire because the majority of polysporin it is an antibacterial agent but it's still a Vaseline uh, based product anyway man what are we going to talk about now boys I don't know <laughs> Lord God Almighty anyway of course we still have our smart water bottle um, this is basically my go-to drink out of container and uh, it's got a, a little flippy type of cop caps now that does not typically come on a one liter container it comes on the 750 milliliter container uh, but I just always save them and, and that's my advice to you is to reuse this stuff repurpose it and uh, then you can be called a long-haired hippie type pinko fag too or you can actually just be a lot smarter and use things a lot better. Um, now about our cook kit. Here we go, man. Got that there cookage type kittage, man. And it's a lot smaller than it used to be. Uh, I've got basically the long handle spoon out of my, um, uh, I guess, get home bag. I pulled that out and then put one of the other ones in it as far as the light my fire titanium ones in it of course i've got my bandana which is black and red uh, <laughs> i like it like that baby Woo! and then we have our cook uh pot and you can see this this uh this is just it's just tight enough and we have it stored basically like that uh, with the the actual lid that comes with the snow peak on the bottom and then uh, this there or the other you might get a little bit of dirtage in there but a little bit of dirt don't hurt baby and uh, then you've got your four dog stoves on the top we've got our pot cleaner we have another bandana and this bandana is orange just because you want to be able to see it at night uh, I do and then we've got our uh, MSR micro rocket man is it better than the uh, the one that everybody uses which is the yeah I don't know I'm gonna tell you guys on the truth I've had this thing forever and uh, just it's just the way it is I hardly ever use it of course still have this the uh, them there uh, 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 matches boy and a uh, pot grabber boy <laughs> make popcorn out in the wilderness with this pot it, it works, man. That's <laughs> what you do, boy. <laughs> you got it over right there. Hot top device. <laughs> that, 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 that fire, man. And when we got one of them there, uh, uh, Gigapire from Snow Peaks. Why? Because it's 50 cents cheaper than another one. We got a, got, a, got, a, got a scraper, too, man, just because we're actually experimenting with this, seeing how it works. But we want to make popcorn out in the wilderness. You can take... Uh, a quarter cup of popcorn, olive oil, which of course Mrs. Guns and Eyes and Watches carries. Throw that there lidage on that thing, buddy. <laughs> hey boy, we're gonna grab a hold of it, boy, just like that, boy. And you can sit there and see it, and you know, you know woo. But it grabs a hold of it, and you got a little bit of ventilation right there, boy. And you can shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it over right there, fire, man. And you're gonna cook you up some popcorn, man. 
you can probably see where I've done that a few times. Actually, believe it or not, it's pretty resilient and uh, recovers pretty well also. Um, but anyway, that, that's, that's kind of that deal. Uh, this is the small, this is the whatever the hell it is. Do I give a shit? No. Uh, it, it's small. They make two sizes, small and big. If you want to really get all this there to the other man. Uh, what else do we have here? That is vastly different than the way it was before. Um, I'm just basically using that because I already have the stove. I mean, that, that's something you have to understand. I'm not altering my way of thinking or my way of life uh, too much because I already purchased it, number one, years ago. Got it on sale for something or other. Hell, I probably bought it at Sierra Trading Post, knowing my shit. Um, you know, still have the, the sleeping bag here, still have the silk liner, still have all that crap. Um, one of the things, though, that if uh, you're not one of them there, or if you like, you know, bushcrafting and all that bullshit and everything else, you're not carrying the Esbit anymore. So you, if in a wet situation, I'm carrying three of these little uh, acne pads full of wax, which you can basically uh, cut up and this, there, or the other, and you can make them out of whatever you want to. Um, they're not acne pads, they're little cotton scrubby fucking things. And you melt the shit and this, there, or the other, and then rock and roll. Rock out with your cock out. Um, are those any different than the ones they sell at the uh, them there? Uh, wilderness survival or prepper or whatever the fuck it is or jungle fucking what you know whatever. I mean it's it's the same shit. It, 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 there's only it's wax and it's cotton. You can't come up with some new creative shit. Uh, they sell these at uh, the Pathfinder store or whatever the fuck they're calling their dumb ass now, uh, but. You can make them also. It, it, it ain't rocket science, boy! Um, so, basically, everything else is the same, I would think. Of course, Mrs. Guns, Knives, and Watches, if you look at her pack, her pack is just totally fucking different. Um, but that's just, that's just because, man, she's one of them there girly type people, man. You gotta. You got to do some little bit of customization, man. You as a male are not going to be able to do much customization for them there female type people. I mean, I hate to tell you, but that's just the reality of the world, man. And I'm going to put all this crap back together, try to get it figured out. Anyway, that's, that's basically the way this system's set up. That's my first aid kit. I've shown you a few things I didn't show you before. I've shown you how I've changed a few things. And... Uh, and here we go, man! Woo! It's going to and watch you, baby. And this is my backpacking them type setup. This thing weighs 20 pounds uh, dry. Uh, that's no food, uh, no water. But all the containers and everything to do it. So when I say dry, I mean everything. There is nothing left out of this other than food and water. So typically, if I was to actually go out and do anything, I still am at that 25. Oh, shit. Screw me sideways. Have made one other alteration. I thought that their 2.5 ounce Swiss Army knife was probably a little bit heavy. So I switched to a Scout. Or whatever the hell this thing is. A Cadet. It's a Cadet or some dumb shit like that. Anyway, do I think I'm going to like the Cadet? Not really. But, precise weight capability, it's a very capable tool. What I don't like about it is the fact that it's shorter, and when you're using it, it don't, it, I can't get that there pinkage man on it, so we're talking about a three, I mean, we're going to do a three finger job, baby. It, it's just, that's just the way it is. And also, uh, the little nail file thing, if you're that big of a queer where you uh, feel as though you need a nail file and whatever the hell this shit, this is gay. 
Um, but I think that's kind of gay about the small one, too, and whatever the hell else they sell a million of. I don't really give a rat's ass. Um, the, the can opener and the bottle opener are cool. Um, the fact that it's it's metallic and very thin, light, this, there, the other. You're talking about, even in this configuration with that uh, hollowed-out paracord there, you're talking about 1.7 ounces. But anyway, it's good night and watch, baby, and I'm out.